Hey guys, Joanna here. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. If you have not yet, make sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button down below. So what you're going to be learning today is basically using the folders and how to get organized with all the things that you can be creating inside Canva. So one of the key things is that when you open Canva, one of the frustration that we always get is when you go to recent design, you can seem to get things organized in a way that you want it, right? So it's like a given fact that it's already there and there's nothing else you can do until Canva decide on doing something more. So one of the key that I do is actually get things more organized through the folders, right? So there are some that are shared with me or my folders itself. So when I'm outside, there is already like where I put it and where I get it organized to make it much more easier, especially when I have a lot of templates, a lot, a lot of things that I have. So personally, I do have two paid Canva Pro, one that I use for my clients and one that I use for the template creation as a Canva template creator for Canva and then also for my Savvy Template Shop that is actually currently on soft launch right now. So you can actually visit it at Savvy SavvyTemplateShop.com. So do check that one out. I'll appreciate your support in that one. Those are some Canva templates and Kajabi templates as well. Uh, as well. So what we're gonna do is that, so with creating folders, I love how it is because you can really just get things organized. So everything that has to do so it can be folders inside a folder inside a folder right so as you can see here this is 2020 um 2021 canva templates that i have created and then everything is here and then i can still create more more template more folder within that so all i have to do is actually create a folder for example i'm going to say pdf canva templates so that's one over here. And then all of the Canva templates that I have, I'm going to move it in a folder. So I'm going to look for that one, which is this one is the main folder. This are what you call the subfolders. Then I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Now we are doing this from the desktop um, point of view or from the, the main dashboard is what I'm saying. And then I'm just going to do this one again. Now, as you can see, they get organized and removed from the overall folder, right? So let me do that again. The overall folder or the main folder is what you call the 2021 Canva templates. The subfolders are this all four. When I move this one, you'll notice that this, this template that I'm the, yellow purple will disappear in this section. So I'm going to move it here and now it moved, right? So when I open this, now this is here. And one of the key things that I would like when I get organized is that on this left panel over here in particular, these are all the st starred folder that I just want to use. So when I click on this one, now it's here at the bottom part, but I don't want that one. And if I want to remove something, like for example, I don't want this one because nothing's in there. I'm just going to uh, remove that one as well. And then if everything um, doesn't work, I'm going to remove that one too, just to clean this up on the left panel that I have. Now let's go ahead and do it inside a design itself. So I'm going to go ahead and open, for example, a Pinterest. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to select a template and let's see if we can find our templates, our savvy template shop. And let's just see what we have. Yes, we do have. This is awesome. This is actually ours here. Okay. You can actually know because it says view more by Savvy Chic Design. And when you click on that one, those are all the, the templates we have created for Canva. And if you're a Canva user and you've seen this one, please make sure to tag me and appreciate that one as well. So let's go ahead and choose one of our templates, right? So for example, we are choosing this. We've designed this one. We've created this one. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to save this one in a folder, which is like an Instagram post folder. So I am going to go to file and then there's here what you call save to folder then it will allow me what certain folder I want to let's just say I'm gonna go with Instagram so here's like Instagram um, I'm just gonna mix that one there but 
let me change that one up. I've decided let's go ahead and like do a create. I'm just gonna do training folder so that when I do other trainings, I can have this. Then I'm gonna add a new folder, right? So now that is added. And if I go here on my left panel that says folder and I'm gonna look for that one called training folder, it's here, now it's here. Right now, if I want to go into deeper in creating, I'm going to say create a new folder. Let me just zoom that up so that you can all see what I am doing. Create new folders. As you can see here on the main folder, it is here. Right. But I want to go ahead and do a folder within the training folder and I'm going to call it um, Instagram training. So all my Instagram training, if ever you have to, I'll put the image there. So now you have this folder here, right? So you have a folder of what you call all, meaning you'll see the folder and the design, or you have the folder itself and you just have the design itself, right? So I'm going to put that, either I drag that there, right? And I drop it that way. Or if I actually remove this one, um, edit original, nope. All right, I can either drag or I can actually just right click on that image again. Like for example, right click, move the folder and then just choose a folder that where you want it to be placed. So this is the best way to get organized, especially when you are designing a lot. Like I have this reason why I have two accounts. Uh, well, basically I have three because I have a free version of Canva that I do for trainings. That is um, when it is for free. Canva free so that there's just some features that is on my Canva because I'm a Canva certified creative. Um, I want to make sure that I won't confuse my audience or um, I have one for clients only and then one for the template creations as well. So I hope this actually helps you a lot when it comes to getting more organized and using the you say the folders in Canva accordingly. So again, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. If you have any other questions or you would like to ask um, some, some updates, please do check out Canva Savvies, which is my free community inside Facebook. All right, I'll see you next time on our next training here in YouTube. Bye. Creating a brand and website goes beyond the aesthetics. As a designer, we do our best to make sure we transform the vision into visual creation. So it goes beyond the logo. It's really just understanding what is the personality behind a brand, what is the story, what is the mission of the company. In Savvy Chic Design, one of the things that we really prioritize is really understanding what your business is all about so that we can transform it into a visual that will really stand out. My name is Joanna. I'm the creator and founder of Savvy Chic Design and I invite you to book a call so that we can start leveraging your brand.